Hey, thank you for your interest in my um, project. I am going to show you now how to talk from a Max MSP object or patch through the Arduino into the uh, SparkFun RGB LED matrix backpack. Okay, cool. So right over here, we are at my website, which is ibrol.com. We're under the open source project DAC tab. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see that I have selected some code. Okay, I've started here and I have dragged down to here. I'm just gonna copy it. I'm gonna press Command C. If I was on Windows, it would be Control C. Now that I've copied it, I'm gonna go over to Max MSP and I'm going to say Command N, which is opening up a new patcher window, and I'm going to do Command V to paste it. Okay. So now you see we've got some code and a floating window. Now first what I'm going to do is I'm going to press command and click on the background or you can just go to this icon to lock and unlock the patch. Um, I'm going to press this button which is going to take me out of the patcher mode and put me into presentation mode. Alright, great. So you can see it, it gets a little bit sort of cut off so I'm just going to expand this a little bit. Alright, that looks a lot better. And I'm just going to save this. I'm going to do Shift Command S, and I'm going to save this as uh, iBox. That sounds good to me. That's pretty generic, and I might even remember it. So uh, if I was to go ahead and press the space bar like it says, I don't see anything. But there's a reason for that. I don't see anything because I haven't read anything. I don't know what video I'm looking at. So let's let's see. I think I actually have a video called Blue balls. I'm not kidding you. It's it's called blue balls. Uh, and there it is. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to hit the space bar. And I'm going to hit the space bar again. And there it goes. That's right. It's it's a blue background with moving black balls. And you can see that it's being done in an 8 by 8 grid. Now if we open up the patcher again, let's open it up, you'll see that in fact we are looking at a movie that's being played back with 8x8 eight eight dimensions. So basic arithmetic, that's 64 values, and that's exactly the number of LEDs that you have on the uh, SparkFun RGB LED matrix. So what's going on here is we got this uh, toggle talking to a metro, which has a value over here, which tells it how fast to go. The metro is a metronome, basically it's like a pulse it's telling this object here, JIT.QT movie, to play back this movie at whatever increment has been designated for it. And so what that's doing is, you can see, it's playing back this movie. So from here, it's not just going down here to, uh, it's, it's also connected to here. And if we drag this down a little bit, you'll see Yes, there it is. See, it's going from the JIT QT movie into the JIT matrix 4 char 8 8, which then is um, split amongst these guys. So what's basically happening here is it's saying, listen, you know, uh, we've got um, we've got these values, we've got these three dimensions of values, RGB and alpha, but we only want three of them, the RG and the B. And since it's 32 bits, and our um, RGB LED matrix backpack is only 8 bits, we have to go through this agonizing conversion. I mean, we have to go through these four or five objects that I've built over here, which does the conversion for you. Now, it's, you know, it's a little clunky. It, it loses a lot of color in the process of doing some. But it got the job done, and uh, it's good enough for me for this project. Um, I'm quite happy with the results, actually. So, if you look over here, you see that there's actually um, a whole bunch of 192s. What that represents is, well, it represents the blue in an 8-bit format. Um, you can tell because it's predominantly values of 192, and the actual, uh, the actual window is predominantly blue. And every now and then you get a zero. I think it starts to get intuitive, you know? It's the absence of color. It's black. So you can see there's also a 100 in front of it, though. Now, that 100 is of interest. What that value of 100 does is it tells the Arduino, hey, we've got 64 values, and now we have a 65th value of 100. So send me off to the uh, RGB LED matrix backpack, and let's make an image. And it's doing that. Uh, it's sending that every 100 or so milliseconds, which is a tenth of a second. And the reason why it's only doing it a tenth of a second is because, well, you know, these are some, like, 
new electronic devices that are made for who knows what, and uh, I don't want to abuse them, so I'm, I'm giving it a little bit of a buffer. I'm sure it can go much quicker, but for, for, for my needs, this is totally fine. And you can see that it's being fired towards the serial port. What happens is this message box is constantly being populated by these values that are coming out of the 32 to 8-bit conversion code, logic code, right over here. And it goes to this guy, which says prepend 100, and it's just loading up. It's populating this matrix, this message box, and then every 100 milliseconds it's getting pumped into the serial port which talks directly to the Arduino. Now if you see over here I've got a little bit of uh, comments. It says with some earlier models you may need to switch these leads. Well there's a reason for that. Um, I, my experience is, is that some of the earlier matrixes that I got, the earlier RGB LED matrix backpacks modules, we'll just call them the SparkFun modules from this point on. How about that? I find that the colors are swapped for whatever reason. So this is actually, um, this has been changed. It's an inconsistency, and I don't know what to say about it. But I think that my, my understanding is that all the newer models that I got are done to this spec. So if you have an earlier model, you just might need to switch these lines. It'll take like a second. It's not a big deal. Now, you can see that there's some other code up here that I didn't talk about. I'm going to stop this guy right here, and I'm going to uh, hit the open button and I'm going to hit the toggle button. And lo and behold, it's me. I've been talking to you in this uh, the direction, in the path of this camera the whole time. So now you can see me, which is, you know, it's, it's what it is. What, but um, it's going to be more interesting when the RGB LED matrix sees me. Oh yeah, now there's one problem here. The uh, you can see that it's doing it at a full resolution, so we're going to change that a little bit. I'm going to click over here, I'm going to hit stop, hit close. Now, we're going to take this guy, we're going to say 8. 8. That's right. What have we done? We've turned it into an 8x8 eight eight dimension. Let's try it again. Hit start. Okay. Well, that's, that's pretty amazing. Oh, but this one's still going, so we're going to hit stop on that. Okay. Now, we've got me. That's right, me in whatever really crude, truncated image it, um, resolution it is. But, you know, it's, it's what it is. And this data can actually be taken to do a lot of really interesting stuff. You can build circuits out of this data to, to drive all kinds of fun things. All right, I'm going to go ahead and press stop. So what I've demonstrated to you with this patch is that you can, in fact, do some very interesting things with very little bits of code that will go directly from the Max MSP environment through the Arduino into this uh, physical computing device, this RGB LED matrix backpack module. Um, and, and with that, with the project that I'm working on, you know, it, I take it to uh, another, another level. I try to really get outside of the computer and change environments with it, much the same way that I do with my spatialized sound patch, which I also hope you'll take a look at. You know, it's all just an effort to explore new ways of taking this uh, technology and being creative with it. And one of, one of my per particular preferences is to see, you know, does it need to be like a really high resolution? No, I don't think so. I think you can do... Uh, you know, it's just like things lying around, as a lot of the DIY videos around the internet will show you. There's a lot that you can do. It's, uh, I like to start small. So, you know, I hope that you got something out of this. And if you have anything to share in response, I'd like to hear it. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.